<laughs> Thanks a lot, friends, for watching our video today. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. And then come along with us and have some fun as we four-wheel up the wash and collect some wood. And uh, actually, gunshots are going to be fired. So listen for that. Woo! <laughs> well, today Bandit and I are going to go out into the desert and do a little four-wheeling. Do a little scavenging and uh, see if we can pick up any uh, firewood uh, to uh, have a campfire if this wind ever dies down. And uh, let's uh, see if we can have some fun. So uh, you all ought to come along with us, yeah? <laughs> well, the first thing we got to do is we got to change these manual hubs from uh, free to lock. Ugh. As we never know what kind of terrain we're going to get into. And we got to have the uh, 4x4 compound low engaged. So that's one hub. And here's the other one. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And the other thing we got to do, and the next thing we got to do is we got to switch the uh, transfer case on the 4x4. Oh, uh, we got the bandit inside here with us. And out we go into the desert. My plan initially is to go down into the wash right here and drive up the wash and see if we can find anything interesting that the uh, the storms have washed down that uh, might be of uh, interest to me. Well, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Looks like somebody has put up a bunch of stones right here like they don't want anybody Driving down in the wash, why that would be, I don't know. Washes are the uh, super highways of the desert. Wash right there, and this is what we see. Now look over here at this cliff right here. When I was shooting video of the... Uh, of the big uh, wash gully washer <laughs> when it was raining hard this uh, cliff right here is the cliff that got eroded away and uh, you can you can see right down here the rock and the sandstone that got washed out and uh, fell down and then uh, there's more more right there. It's pretty significant. Gosh, if I could get that big old thing there cut up and back to my camp, that would provide some great campfires. That's a uh, little more work than I want to go to. <laughs> I do carry a chainsaw with me uh, on the one hand. On the other hand, I haven't had it running in a couple of years and I didn't take the the gas and the oil out of it before I threw it in the basement of the Millennium Falcon and so I'm sure the uh, that it's all oiled up and greased up in a bad way <laughs> I've seen a couple of things that might be good to grab. I've seen uh, some good branches. I saw a uh, saw a pallet board that I think for sure I'll grab on the way back. That pallet board could end up being like a sled that if I see other things that I want to collect I could uh, tie the pallet board to the tracker and then uh, pile things on top of that and tie them down and use that pallet uh, as a sled to uh, 
slide things back to my camp. I've also seen some tires that might be good to add to the perimeter of my camp. I don't really don't really need a lot more perimeter to my camp, but hey, what the heck? Looks like we got some some camps on this other side of the wash here. We've got uh, looks like a little dam of some kind. You can see um, see a camp up there. That's on the Slab City side of the wash here. And then as we come up here, look what we see. This is all fenced off and gated. Might have to do with that electronic tower up there. Oh, this is uh, this is siphon number seven for the uh, Coachella. Uh, canal and right there is the Coachella Canal yeah they don't want you in there yeah I can understand that stay with us friends for that shooting guns clip it's coming right up bang bang well, look at that I kind of doubt that that's a natural formation <laughs> that big sandstone boulder there with all the pretty colored bottles and such embedded in it. I kind of have a feeling that beyond that, behind those trees, is somebody's camp. But that boulder's an interesting sight. <laughs> well, this is kind of interesting right here uh, next to that sandstone uh, rock, that large rock that's embedded with the colored bottles is this uh, small labyrinth that somebody has made. Let me turn the camera around and show you. <coughs> right there it is. Interesting labyrinth. labyrinth. And I uh, gave out a shout before I came walking in here in the event that this is uh, an active camp. It doesn't appear to be an active camp. It appears to be a uh, a camp that somebody comes to from time to time and uh, they're not here right now. It's possible that uh, that the uh, rains and the big uh, flood wash uh, chased them out because uh, that, wa that uh, big water that came down was uh, pretty significant. Would have would have filled this camp. I don't know to how deep, but it would have filled this camp. And uh, it's kind of interesting. They've got all these bottles hung up in the tree here and picture frame. And, and looks like there's a, a hammock back in there somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's all kind of interesting. Once again, I, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to totally intrude here, so I think I'll uh, back out now, but uh, whoever built this camp, uh, hats off to you. I like it. It is, and it's uh, right in the middle of this wash. <laughs> Look at that. There's the wash. There's the camp. <laughs> uh, that'd be okay to build it there in the summertime, but uh, this time of year is probably not the wisest building location. <laughs> well, there's my first little collection of wood. <laughs> Out on this little excursion. Yeah. So that'll, uh, it's kind of rotten. So it'll probably burn pretty quick. Might last 10 minutes. <laughs> well, 
I got a passenger seat full of wood and I got a lap full of dog. <laughs> Bandit's not real thrilled about where he has to ride back. Normally he likes being on my lap, but when we're riding in the tracker, he doesn't like it so much. Or the Millennium Falcon for that matter. He doesn't like being on my lap or in the front, really. He likes being in the front here, but in the passenger seat where he's got personal freedom. I guess uh, being on Papa's lap is, is a little bit too close and a little too restricted. <laughs> oh well, we're on our way back. Right up next to the uh, Coachella Canal, we see uh, a campsite. And uh, right up beyond that, I believe, is the library, Slab City Library. We'll get some, uh, we'll get some clips of that a little bit later on. Hey, looky what I found. A, uh, an unclaimed pallet down here in the middle of the wash. See too many of those around? Because uh, people like these pallets that use them for building and construction and making walls and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to take it and see if I can't maybe repurpose it to be a sled so that I can come down here once in a while and pick up a little more wood, a little bit larger pieces, and uh, drag it behind the tracker. We'll see what we can do. Well, I'm back in the wash. <laughs> Why am I back in the wash? Because I set my gloves on top of my spare tire on the back of the tracker and didn't retrieve them before I left. And so I backtracked and there they are. So I found them. Yabba dabba doo! <laughs> Well, it does put a hole in something. <laughs> Small little 22 long rifle. It does put a hole in something. I had a lot of duds in that uh, last magazine, so here's another magazine. We'll see. Well, that one was nine for nine. So I guess I've got some live ammo anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what an exciting time Bandit and I had four wheeling up the wash. Collected some wood, got a new pallet sled to slide things on, and had a great time visiting interesting camps. Now y'all remember to subscribe and click the bell right now.